Well, I think it's what I just touched on with architecture. I mean, you have a historical building. There's obviously no plans for it. Somebody basically built a building from their mind. Um, that person is no longer alive. Or if they are, they'd have to be extremely old. But most kind of, I would think, 99.9% .9 of the time, they're not alive. So you have a structure that's sitting there that is, over time is maybe sagged or, or shifted a little bit. And uh, you can use the 3D laser scanning to scan every really inch of the building, including inside and outside. If you have a cathedral ceiling inside, you could, you could scan all the, the, um, the structure of the building, the beams, and so forth, and really recreate the structure in a virtual world, how it is that actually exists, and you could start disassembling it piece by piece. And, and there obviously might still be some guesswork, because there'd be items that are covered up, or may not be apparent to the scanner or to the naked eye that are inside or behind you know the outer covering of the building or the inside walls but really it gives you a tremendous head start um, then the architect or whoever's looking at the the historical building you know could really start making a leap of well what might be behind that wall what would support this type of wall you know and they at least have an educated guess at it so I would think it'd be a very powerful tool in fact if the historical building had to be de destroyed um, had to be because something had to go in like a bridge or something to benefit you know the community as a whole it'd be nice to scan a historical building and you know make a virtual replica of it before before it disappeared from the mm -hmm. world completely that way people could someday maybe have a virtual tour of what that building looked like you know I, I, I really think scanning could be endless in that in that in those regards because there's gonna be a lot of historical structures even where I come from some of the covered bridges I mean It'd be nice to have the covered bridges scanned because then, you know, those can't stand forever. You, most of the covered bridges you can't drive on anymore. So they're either mm -hmm. going to have to just keep them there until they fall in or, or repair them. Or they're going to have to take them out and replace them with newer bridges. So things like that that are going to disappear from our landscape. It'll be nice to have those, you know, in the archives somewhere, basically.